Hello and welcome back everyone. Welcome back to the unloading of last night's adventure out. We did do a little bit more after finishing off and signing off. We got a barbecue. A couple of fans over there. I don't know what this was. Computer. And we filled the front seat. Drops or even. There's the other half of the computer. But there is some other stuff here. Well, I reckon it's all to do with wheel alignment stuff. So it's all computerised. I've even got a little, just noticed myself because I picked this up in the dark and that sort of thing. Didn't have me light on. Oh, yeah, we'll go, go cognito and you know, go and get this stuff. I was on my way home and I noticed this yellow bin. I thought, oh, yeah, I'll jump in that one, have a look. Just had a squizzy and this stuff was there, you know. Drop saw, computer. Um, Barbecue was just up the road from it. I thought, yeah, I'll grab that too. Had some good burners, a bit of cast uh, iron in there. With the, I think they'd class that as insides. Um, so, yeah, let's unload this. Put it in where it's got to go. I noticed we scratched a little blue ute here a little bit. Only a little bit, you know. But anyway, let's get this monstrosity out of here and put it where it's got to go so we can process it later. These old CRT monitors, they're not too bad for the copper recovery. I'll just sit that down here, over here on June's table. She's still going through computers, trying to get through them anyway. And I'll sit it up there, it's not going to fall over then. Uh, yeah, she's getting through the computers, getting there. I'd like to know whether this drop saw works, it's a Ryobi one. I might go and plug it in, it's got some weight in it. <sighs> Uh, I'll sit it on this dishwasher. That's up safe. Let's plug it in and find out. It's even had the dust collector there. Well, I think it's been collecting a lot of dust. Do -do -do. You know what? I'll be surprised if this works. Plug looks good. Pins aren't bent. Fingers out of the road. No worky. Oh, hang on. What have we got to do? How do we work this? She no worky. Hang on. That, that way. No worky. Oh well. Blade looks alright though. It might be just a, a little bit of a fix up. We might be able to work it. Never know. I'm not putting my fingers in there. That blade looks alright though. It's only a timber one. Interesting this. Yeah, she's not clicking on. So it might be the switch in there. I'll have a look at it later. Might be just the switch, take it all apart. I know I've got power, I've got the red light on. So that's one item. Have a look at that later. Finished in there. Close the door up. That's still tied down, that's tied down. Here we go. Get it all untied. No glove day today. Get it done, get it out of the road. Pull the washer off, find out if it works. Put it on a spin cycle, sort our wire out. We've got a couple of tubs here and that sort of thing for cans and wire and God knows what this thing here, it came with um, all this schmozzle stuff. Um, it's, I think it's all to do, that's why I think it's all to do with um, your, um, Oh, what do you call it? Wheel alignment crap. I can't get that out of there, you know. Come on, out you come. There we go. Put that over there. Where you go? There you are. I'll just sit them down here. Roll them up later. Get the other two. Well, actually, no, we'll get these fans out. They, they were with all this other stuff. I was surprised they still had the blades on. I broke the blades off. It's even got the end on it. I don't need fans. I'll just sit that down here for now. Probably got a aluminium motor in it, more than likely. I don't mind, I still grab them. No, aluminium's still worth money. It's like we're growing on our copper bin there. This one here. 
He's got some stuff coming out of that. Struth. Come here, mate. Down here, put you on the computers. We'll have to put the lights in there as well. It's just a sorting station, this. You might remember, recall um, me picking this up. I got it working. Had a broken caster and things like that, so... Yeah. Okay, that's hold, held onto that. Let's just lift this off. It was a hard effort to get this up here, I tell you. This is a full solid barbecue. Up we go. Go up another step. Up. It's going to be unconventional. But it's off. It's off. <laughs> Not a bad little barbecue, really. But I don't need it. Bit of timber there, we'll have to take all the timber slats off. I try not to take too much scrap with me, like rubbish side, talking scrap side like that. We'll just park that over here. Dismantle the timber off it and then put it straight in the IBCs out there. Right, now getting down to the wire, that can go straight out there. Ah. Uh, Wire and cans and God knows what. Um, we'll put that straight in here. So I've still got to sort it all out. I'll just put it all in one at the moment. Our wire bin's getting a bit full. Or stripping. The wire stripping bin, that is. Is that non... Oh, that's strippable stuff, that. It's only fine, but it's strippable. Good that I found all this stuff. I've been waiting for something. It'd be nice. You know, you've seen those big spools beside the bin. It'd be nice to get a lot of that. Oh, yeah. Right, that goes with that. That goes out there. Oh, I can't reach that. No, it didn't go there. Walk around. Yep, that one. Bottles over there. Bring that a bit closer to. Too close, gotta to walk around it. Head into there, all those into that, down there, straight aluminium, straight in there, we're getting that full too. Those down there. I tell you what, I'm 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 not surprised that they went the way they have with all of this can and bottle stuff. Uh, I don't actually miss going to my honey hole because I'm always busy here. But in saying that, it would be nice if I could go back there. You know, that's the funny part about it. It would be nice. That's got nothing in it. That's got rubbish. Put that way up there. Wash the hands later. Uh, we could do that. Pull this down. Uncover all the wire. Everything else. We need a bin for this stuff. Where are we going to do that? Oh, this will do. All our metals in there. That's where it eventually ends up anyway. Because I'll take that over as is. I wonder if they work. I'd have to plug the one in and find out. Not today though. Not today. There's a lot of wire. It's all heavens. Have I undone that? No. Oh, come on. Uh, 
What are you caught on? Sunny Jim. I can go down there. There we go. Now we're free. Aluminium, I think. Sure is. I Put it down with our wire. I think all these zippy ties. Nah. We'll sit them there for now. That's got nothing in it. Could be the stainless steel wire. I don't need it. I just grabbed it for scrap metal. We'll go into there. Get our pokey stick out. I don't think I will be able to get that out. We'll get to it. I have to go through the, the bottles and take all the liquid out. So I'm not finished. Now I didn't mention these tweezers last night when I was finishing off. That is definitely the biggest pair of goddamn tweezers I have ever seen in my life. I'll tell you what, not a bad pair of tweezers. If you want to get a nut or something, don't mind those. Mm, I'm going to have to make an extra pile. All the little bits and pieces, all adds up. That is in the road. I'm ducking around it. I'll untie the rest of it. Get into there. Over there, that's a good piece. They will go there, they have to be pulled apart. Put that down to there for a second so I can walk through. Put a threaded rod straight in there. That's those silly smoke machines. This is where I should be wearing the gloves. Yes, I know. But I'm not, all oh, those clamps don't go in there. I did grab some small clamps. So I've got to try and find that. A little bit I want to save. All the tools. Yeah, we want to get that washer off. So, get to and undo that other strap. Move out of the road, mate. This one here. It's got a bit of wire attached to this fan thing over. Let me go down there for now. I will not be able to pull that through. Go get some cutters. Don't matter where I cut it. That's it. That'll fall. I should be able to pull that wire out of there. Hopefully. Would have been nice to be able to do that last night, I tell you. I had to struggle with that and that. Go in 
into there, I'll sort it later. Um, up there in the trash, it's on the table, it's all right. On the bench. Oh yeah. That end of there, that end of there. Get this one off. Sun's glary. Real Larry. Larry Glary. What is this thing? Some sort of fan? Yep. Some sort of fan. Yep. Well, well, well. I'll just sit that there for now. This the same. That there. What else we got up here? That goes with that. This one here, I'll grab down. I don't know what sort of material they are. That might be cast alloy. I'll just sit it down there too. Uh, I'll put it in its in piles here and I'll go through that way if June does come down. She does her thing. Uh, I can say, well, this has got to go there. there, there all right, and I can do other things like strip the dishwasher apart, things like that. Um, I try to do a little bit more than her because she's not really up to speed with all the scrap and stuff. Sometimes I'm not either. No, we're not all, all not always all there. Alright, that's just a cord. Chop the end off that later. What have we got here? Oh, we just chuck that in the scrap. Right in there. Another wire. Right there. Grab that computer off. Put this light first, same way here. Try and stack them up so they're individual. Oh. I did say we had another computer. I didn't say how, say how big it was. <laughs> She'll get a shock. She's an old one, that one. Very old board, that. Anyway. I can go. And we'll sort pick it up after. Just put it in its place. I'll have these probably done tonight, all these lights. When I get a bit of time. Haven't got much to do today. I'm waiting for a spray to react and that sort of thing. So that's why I'm getting in and doing this now. Can't do much in the way of lawn or anything like that when you're waiting for a spray to go off and see where you've sprayed and that sort of thing. That way I can go around and whip and snip those sections off spray. That gives me a chance to do what I'd, I'd like to do, like pulling, taking this stuff off. I'm really caught up with what I'm doing around here. Not much to do now. Um, let's see if this thing's going to work. Let's hope we don't drop it. It's heavy enough getting it up there. Bring it up here. Up we go. Up we go. we probably power up. They all do. They use the power up. Got to get it off the cord now. Right, that there. Got to get here and clean that bench off. Even. I'm getting there. Getting there. Clean it up. Right, that's plugged in. 
We know there's no water in it because it had its last legs last night. <laughs> well, that's what I call having its last legs where it spews all its own water out. Oh, is it going to power up? Oh, it powers up. It does have a drain and a spin cycle, so we'll put it on that. 13, we'll just have a look inside. Did I put anything in there? No. Bearings are a little bit tappy, but you've got to have a little bit of play. Yeah, they're not too bad. It smells nice and fresh. I'll give it that. Now, I did say I was going to have a look at this before I start it. Oh, pick up my knee. I don't want my kneecap wet. There's nothing in there. Nothing at all. Wow. What did they do? Just upgrade. They must have. Doesn't look to be anything wrong with it. Hmm. Looks, the seal looks good. No. Pretty dirty in there, like we know. Well, pump's working. We'll let it go. See what it does. Get to and finish this off. Ooh, we've got a rolly stone there. We've got a rolling stone. Yeah. I'm looking at um, getting a bit of YouTube friendly music for everyone. Instead of me just gas bagging along with you. Um, so if I'm not talking at any stage, you've got something to listen to. Uh, I've got a Bluetooth speaker there. I can plug it in and that sort of thing. I've had it there for a while. I usually have the wireless going on that thing. Because it's a continuous, but it comes back to copyright laws and all that crap. So, just looking into it. I may have to download a heap off YouTube itself. Bit of country. Something like that. Well, it's got the spin on. Might be a good one. Definitely got the spin on. If they work, like if some of them have got the cords, I think there's a two that I see so far. If they work, we can probably swap some parts out. Need a bit more lighting up here. Could bugger all at the moment. There's nothing in that. Why'd I pick that up? So say, in the dark, you know, with the light shining in my eyes, because it reflects back into me, into my, my glasses, because I've got to wear my glasses while I'm YouTubing. Um, it all shines back into my eyes and I can't see, so it is a bit of a problem in that sense. Uh, steel there, but during the day it's not too bad. That one in there. Some of these would probably would work, you know. They've only chopped the cords off. That's working well. Can't hear no bang, bang, bangs or anything like that. didn't scratch it, only looks it. Talking about the car, that is. Definitely working. It's taken off. Right, these things here, these are out of the barbecue. As we all know, that's the burners. Now, I usually put these in with the, the um, insides because they're cast, brake drums are cast, so that's where I put them. 
Yep, they don't seem to mind. They're within the 300. So it goes inside for me. This is slowly adding up from the last video I've done from that. Slowly getting there. Let me coming back for a second. Bulbs are still okay by the looks of it, they didn't break. What the devil was that noise? I think it was over here. I might be hearing things too. It's the thing when you're down here on your own, no wireless, you hear funny things. It's a big place. It's like bound out in the never never. You get to hear things you should. You never thought you'd ever hear. Peace and quiet. Right, that can come out of there. That looks to be, no, it's not aluminium. I can go straight into there. Right, pick that piece up. Gotta watch your solar panel. motor worn it, just a little one. Yeah, I don't want to be touching that thing. It's right over there. <laughs> That's one way to deal with it, isn't it? Tell you what, we got a fair few cans, cans, of plus in glass last night. It puts a smile on the dial. Oh, that one's got to have the heat done to it. Put the heat to that one. That can go there, all these little strands of wire. Need to be stripped. The only thing about this bed liner, everything gets into the cracks of that and you can't get the thing out. Just about need no gloves on anyway. There's another strand there. Might be able to peel that off. Oh, look at that. Get rid of that safety check stuff. Look at that. It's on there now. Can still be recycled. Oh, yeah. That. That into there. Zippy ties can go in there too. It's all part of it. And when I'm unloading, I try to keep things tidy as much as possible I can. Because if I get people coming in, it's all got to be tidy. It's never untidy. And that can go down there. Got a screw in it. Ah, that can't go there, it goes there. Put this up on the bench. Right, these have got to come off. So we've got to get that square plate off there. Set them there. This thing works, but um, I've had it on the marketplace for a while and um, no one seems to want it. I put it on there for free even. No one wants it, so it's getting scrapped out. It does work, like I said. 
it's a paint paint and tile grout mixer that's what that is some of these airbags might work like that one there made good jack got a big air compressor been but plugged up Could probably make something out of them even instead of scrapping them mm, that over there actually I should put it there it's an idea put it over there put it over there not much in keyboards but now this has got a sensor on it somewhere I think yeah, it's all been, it's all in there. It's got cast aluminium there. We might be pulling that apart, that seat belt. I reckon it's, yeah, it's all locked up. Is it locked up? Is that the way it goes? Yeah, she's all locked up. Yeah. Put it there. Put it there, son. Oh, no, brake pad. Oh, that's a nice chunky piece of wire. Look at that. There's some strands in that. What we got there? A bit of extruded. Up and over one. Well, that finished all right. You just can all hear the beep, beep, beep. Nothing wrong with that. I'll put that through the pace. Put some clothes in it. And then rip, rip snort along. Got myself a dryer in there to dry the clothes. Haven't got a clothesline down here. Took it up to the house. That hose clamp I want to hang on to, that little one. Then there, that one there, that's too big. I'm hanging on to these little ones for all the air fittings I've got around here. I'll sit that there, got a parcel there so we can do something for you all. One I've been waiting on for a long time. All the small stuff can go in there. Trash. Put the trash in the trash. Yeah, all right, I'll turn it off. I'll get move, gotta move it over onto that other slab. Yeah, looks all right. Bouncy ball. Don't know where I got that from. Someone probably threw it in the vehicle while I was going past. I did hear something when I was driving around. Oh yeah, definitely hang on to that. Another drill bit there. Could fix that. Give it a sweep out, set a straw. No, it's a bit of wire. Right, another airbag. He's only got the plastic on him. Yeah, it could be all put in that way. But we use these sort of things and 44 gallon drums to put screws and whatever in. This is not much on that. That's got a. That might be an aluminium top being so light. It'd be nice if it was, but I don't think they are. Doesn't sound like it. Brake pad. Definitely doesn't look like there's anything wrong with that one. It's a jewel bag, that. Can go that way. That's light as ever. Oh, because there's nothing in it. <laughs> Bouncy bloody things are. It's a shame that I've got to cut all the rubber off on this. It's a lot of rubber. They just reject it. 
you know, I can't take it in the way it is. It's like taking in a tyre. They'd probably charge me $20 each. Just for disposal. Smoke machine, where do I put that? There. On the edge there. Okay, okay, okay. That can go with that. Solar panel, son. Don't do that. Scare the crapper out of me. Got a hunk of steel on the bum. He's got a hole in it. I can see the hole. It's right in the side, right there. Been slashed. Something got in there. Probably a stone or something. That's got no label. Why'd I pick that up? Barely a label. Can't take it if it got no label. Now, this stuff. Raptor hardener. Oh, is that to do? Oh, I know what that is. That's to do. Oh, that's your raptor coating stuff. Now I know what that is. It's a hardener for raptor paint. It's like a paint. It's a rough sort of paint. I didn't know they had that stuff. There you go. Do now. You got a separate paint where you can sand your car back. I tell you what, this would look nice like that. All the amount of buffs and bangs this thing gets. It'd be, it'd be probably work out good, but that's a lot of work. You got to sand the whole car back to so it can stick and that sort of thing. Then you put a primer over, and then I put. I think you do another base coat or something. Uh, me not going that far. Like, I'm not going to have this car forever. Like, we're not going to have this job forever. They might say, the next day, you know. Look, we're, we're looking at um, getting someone else. That sort of thing, you know. It can happen. Well, if we could be out in the next week, we wouldn't know. Hang on to that big pin there. That big pin, I could use that myself. You never know when you're gonna be left out of your own job. You think you're good and all that sort of thing. And you just get put off. You can't be helped sometimes. The way it is, they want to venture and have someone else working for them. Well, it's the way it works. But it's not yet. I'm just saying it's not yet. Um, grab that stuff. Like we haven't been notified or anything yet. So I'm just saying it might be on the cards. Might be. The way things have been going, I've got my suspicions. We'll know by the end of the season, probably. Probably. That in there. Nothing wrong with that socket. It's a 21 mil. We'll chuck that in our socket pile. Well, that's got some good wire in that. Put that down. It's got an aluminium case too. Put that with our wire. That's got that. I can go over there. What I mean by that's got that. It's got no. Um, Oh, pull that apart. It's got no metal with it. Pull that apart. That's got brass in it. Oh yeah, okay, that can be pulled apart. Oh, that'll be the first thing off the ranks. After I do that fridge compressor. Cut the top out, get the wirings out. I have had a couple of those fridge compressors with our aluminium. But like I said, it doesn't bother me. Why is why? 
Copper's the best, though. They say copper's king. Oh, I don't reckon so. You take what you can get when you got when you can get it, you know. That's why I take what I got here, like the airbags. There's not much money in it. A lot of rubber. Yeah, that's steel. Definite steel. Right, we're just about there. That can go straight out. Over it that goes. I got that in. Certainly wouldn't be able to play basketball. <laughs> Big task of getting out the reciprocating saw and cutting those off. Sorting that out. About a half an hour job. Not too bad though. Come down with a thick piece of, bit of steel about yay thick. About the thickness of what those two are together. Take this right around. Chuck that into there. Oh, there's a bit of brass. Some bolts in the bracket. They can go there. The brass there. Oh, we're just about there, everyone. Just about there. I have been reading a lot of your comments. Oh, I'm astounded on, you know, where you are in the world and that sort of thing. Jeez, that's a long way away from me. I didn't think we'd be reaching as far as we are. Got some long time subscribers. Thank you very much for staying subscribed. Plenty more adventures to come. Up we go. Hey, two for two. <laughs> I missed that one. Missed that hole. It's way over there. What they don't. They don't class that sort of thing as a mess because they've only unloaded it. They know I do scrap metal. They knew I'd done cans and that sort of thing. Um, I just had to give up cans because I wasn't spending enough time around here. Like I said in the previous video, I'm here. I can see what's going on. And you know, I was spending a full day away from here where I was should have been here. So that's why I had to basically give the cans up. Oh, that one's got to have the, the water treatment. Does it need a water treatment or can I peel it off? Oh, I could peel that off with the greasy fingers. Look at that. Got to reveal that barcode. Oh, come on. A little bit more, a little bit more. That'll do. That little stuff. All this. Oh, we'll get that out of there. Get the paper out of there. Now, I don't crush any of this no more because I recently found out. Oh, that went in the wrong bin. <laughs> recently found out that um, they put all the crushed stuff. This stuff in domestic aluminium. Oh, that's heavy, that thing. Um, I'll give this a sweep out later. That there, that there, that one there. So I thought, well, there's no point in me crushing it. Having more time spent in the shed where I could be out doing some work. Even all my bottle tops, pull tabs that we usually drink ourselves, all in here, because they crush this anyway. That seems a bit stupid the way they're working it, but um, yeah, that's definitely the way they're working things at the moment. Sounds stupid, I know. But anyway, it doesn't all get processed there. It goes to a different town and they process it. That's only a collection point where they are in the scrapyard. Right, that is that. Got a washer left there. Bit of wire, 
bit of rubbish there. That's the ute cleaned out. So we'll get to and sort that wash machine out, get it into place, put our, do our, all our, our cans up and that sort of thing. It's, what's it going on to? Oh, just going on 10 past 12. So I've got to go and have a bit of lunch and then do a bit of work around here. There's a little bit and pieces that I can do around here, like go and clean some garbage, clean crappers, and that's what I think crappers meaning toilets. Um, <laughs> they're always there to be cleaned. So anyway, all in all, it's been a good uh, sort of a morning for me. Definitely find out whether that's gonna work properly. Gotta find out if the switch works. It's not clicking, so I can't hear it clicking. It might be just the trigger, and they're only a little actuator thing. I've got plenty of those. But anyway, that's me unloading this today, everyone. Hope you've enjoyed tagging along. And uh, like I was saying with the washing machine, we'll get it up on the test station, get it all working, chuck some clothes in it, get it on a cycle, that sort of thing. Um, now, it's surprising on how many cans and bottles and glass I do actually get out in one outing. Like, that's only what I got in that last night's outing. So that'll add to the bag I've got up here. That may probably just fill that bag. So that's what we've got so far with what we've already collected that little bag well it's not a little bag that's the normal size bag that we use so anyway um like i said i'll go and have some lunch and uh yeah if you've come this far don't forget to like and subscribe and if you do subscribe don't forget to hit the notification bell that way you'll get notified when we put a new video out now on new videos i have got another one coming out um i may do one tonight uh where i'm repairing a washing machine that you know Took me a while to get the part. It's just a seal I was waiting on. I had all the bearings and yeah, we might get in and do that. I might have this dishwasher all pulled apart by then. Cross fingers. So anyway, till next time everyone. Happy dumpster driving, happy scrapping, and I'll see you in the next one. Cheerio!